and yeah oh okay no 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 hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are well today i thought i would finally do my christmas book haul so i'm going to show you all the books that i accumulated over and around the christmas period and yeah, that's basically all I need to say for the intro. For Christmas, I received 14 physical books. I'm gonna go through each of them. I've also got about uh, 45 pounds in Waterstones gift cards. What do we have here? And I know when some people get gift cards over the Christmas period and they do a video like this, they go out and they spend the gift card like straight away in order to include it in the video, but um, because my birthday's in January, I, <laughs> I have a big period for most of the year where I I'm not gonna be getting any gifts or any money or anything like that And so it makes more sense for me to save these gift cards until like the summer when I will have got through a lot of the books that I own I own a lot of books right now, so I don't really need to buy any more So I thought we would start really quickly I'm not gonna go into super in-depth with these with the books that I bought on my Visiting loads of independent bookstores in London video. I'll put a link up above. I'm pretty sure it is that side And this was my gift from Tom. It was like the most the most fun ever it was such a fun video to make and it was such a fun day um and so yeah these are the books i picked out on that video so the first one is down and out in paris and london by george orwell this is a semi autobiographical account of him living in london and paris whilst being very poor and kind of i think what he saw at the time and um yeah just the kind of stuff he witnessed uh, people going through and what he himself went through I think but I think it is in some ways fictionalized I think it's kind of half and half so that's that one again I'm not going to spend too long on these ones because I go to them in depth in that video then from Persephone books I got two one is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson this is essentially about a woman who lives a very mundane life and then one day it all turns upside down and she lives, I think, a really exciting life for the day. And there is a film about this, which I wasn't aware of at the time. So, yeah, as soon as I read, read this, I'll definitely watch the film this as well. Some people commented on that video saying that um, the film is actually really good and they didn't know there was a book for it. So, I don't know. And then it, there's No Surrender by Constance Maud. This is, all I know really about this is that it's set during the suffragette movement. And I think our protagonist is in a female prison at the time of the suffragette movement. So... That's all I know about that one. And then I picked up two graphic novels as well. The first was The Prince and the Dressmaker. I love the design of this one. I cannot wait to get to reading it. And this is essentially about a prince and a dressmaker, I think. Don't know. <laughs> I think he wants to wear dresses. And I think it's her making dresses for him, I think. Then I also picked up Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Rosie Valera O'Connell and Merrick. Ko Tamaki. I don't know why I struggled with that. Mariko Tamaki. <laughs> Sorry. So my brain is like going a little bit sometimes. Um, which is essentially about a really toxic relationship as hinted by the title. Graphic novel titles always seem to be... <laughs> Well, these two are very obvious what the book is about. I don't feel like I need to tell you. So that was those five just super quickly gone through because... I just feel like you would be you would be sick of me if I went into depth on them. But let's go into depth on some other ones I got. So... Um, the next books that I'm going to go through I all received from my Amazon wish list, which is crazy. I still, I, st I kind of say like I don't know how to feel about it sometimes. Like I still feel like I don't understand why people are spending their good money sending me books. But I'm so grateful when these, I, they got me, they got me some good pulls, let's just say that. The first wasn't, isn't really um, a Christmas present. I just haven't shown it on the channel. On the channel. <laughs> the channel on my channel um at any point since i received it and it is if we were villains by mr rio this was sent to me by riley from riley marie um which was so so lovely of her she loved this book and we've spoken about it a few times about how i need to get around to reading it and so that's why she picked it up for me a lot of people say it's super similar to the secret history which spoiler alert if you haven't watched my book awards of 2019 mute this but um yeah, secret history is my favorite book of 2019 so 
That's why I've been so desperate to get to this. I know it's about a murder within a group of friends, like the secret history, but it's told in a way where I think one of the group of friends was sent to prison for the murder and he has gotten out of prison now and he's telling the story of what really happened. And it's all inspired by Shakespeare. I think they're actors at school. I really cannot wait to get to this. This is one of the books I think I'm gonna be picking up right at the start of the year um, because it excites me. By the way, Riley said, I'm just reading Riley's note again, and at the end she says, I'm still not convinced we aren't twins in some weird <laughs> separated at birth situation or possibly cloning. Everyone says we look alike, and we always talk about this. I'll be watching one of her videos, or she'll be watching one of mine, and our friends will think it's us for a moment. Like, they'll, I was watching one of her videos and I left the room, and my boyfriend's friend was like, I thought that was you. I thought that was you on the screen. <laughs> And I never used to see it, but I see it more so now. But yeah, we look really similar. Maybe that's something our parents aren't telling us. <laughs> Up to discover. This is so freaky. They're... Then I next I received Great Goddesses by Nikita Gill. This is a poetry collection and this was from Jean So thank you so, so, so much. It's so kind of you. She said that she picked up some um, Charlie Cox books on my recommendations, who's, as you all know, a poet that I love and I talk about a lot. I'll link the video up above where I met her. It was a brilliant experience. I always, any chance I get, I'm like, I loved meeting Charlie Cox because <laughs> she was just like the nicest person ever. Um, and she said, I thought you would enjoy this collection of feminist myth retelling from your list. So I think it's essentially a poetry collection inspired by myths with a feminist glance. Um, a few people said to me when I spoke about Charlie Cox that you'll probably enjoy Nikita Gill's poetry then if you like Charlie Cox is so I'm super excited to pick this up I think I'll be reading this this month so it won't be long till I get to it one thing though Amazon needs to sort their shipping out one of the pages is torn like it came completely it's not completely but it's almost completely torn and I'm not gonna send it back or anything because it's everything's still readable it's just that one page but Amazon Get it together, girl. Next from Angel, I'll link everyone's channels down below, by the way, who has one. Um, she sent me Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. So this is a third graphic novel, so maybe you can see a theme here. <laughs> um, I'll have a graphic novel video coming out soon. I kind of wanted to keep it a secret, but I mean, like, I've mentioned it a few times. Um, I've never read graphic novels before, and so I'm super excited to do a reading my first for them. This is one that I've been had my eye on for so long because Alice Oseman, I love her work. I've read Radio Silence and I was born for this, so I think it's only Solitaire. Um, I think they're the only three full length novels she has, so I've read two out of three and love them both. And so I can't wait to read this. It looks so cute. It looks so incredibly cute. Um, it's about, I think, two boys who have well boy meets boy <laughs> the back is boy meets boy boys become friends boys fall in love so i think that essentially sums it up for us uh i believe one of the boys is trying to figure out his sexuality i think one knows that he's gay i could be completely wrong i haven't read the book but i think one knows that he's gay and the other one is trying to figure out if he's bisexual or if he identifies in a different way i think I think that's what it's about, so I cannot wait to get to this. Um, oh god, I just want to read all these right now. <laughs> I just want to sit and read, but alas, you girls got things to do. <laughs> so next we have got my shining light, Nicole sent me the collector edition of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. <laughs> oh my god, look at her! Look at her! Wow, okay. She's an icon. She's a legend and she is the moment. Now, come on now. I love Nicole more than anything in the world. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to her, I will say this until the end of time. If you're not subscribed to Nicole, please go and do it. She is the loveliest soul on booktube. I ain't kidding. She is like the kindest person ever. And she always pulls through with gifts. Like she is the most generous, per gen generous person in the world. Every time someone gets a, a gift on my timeline, it's from Nicole. So she sent me Six of Crows and I am so excited to read this. I read Ninth House uh, earlier this year. No. We've just started 2020. I read 9,000 in 2019 and I really loved it. It was five stars, one of my favorite books of last year, which I know was kind of an unpopular opinion, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I also read Shadow and Bone towards the end of last year. Yes. <laughs> 
and I thought it was okay. It was kind of like a three star. I wasn't, I'm not going into that trilogy expecting much, but I'm one of those people that feels like I have to read it before I read this. So I'm not expecting Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising to be my favorite books ever, but I just would feel wrong reading this before I read them. So that's what it is. So I love this edition. I love the map on the inside and I think, oh my god, look, it has like the portraits of, oh, right? Come on. Come on. Okay, so thank you so much Nicole as always and yeah, my dad was like, I was showing him a while back all the books I received. He was like, I love Six of Crows. I love how that looks. I'm like, yes, yeah, Steve. I agree. <laughs> and then Charlotte, who also has a channel, I will link it down below. Only one and sent me Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We are out here. <laughs> I'm not. No, she doesn't care about you anymore. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I'm showing you my <laughs> workout leggings that I'm wearing with this nice top. <laughs> God, I was hoping to <laughs> super dry anyone. <laughs> I was hoping to hide that fact. <laughs> oh, I didn't say what Six of Crows was about, but we all kind of know what it's about, and you probably know more than I do. I just knocked you. I'm very sorry. That probably made a horrible noise. Um, but I think it's essentially about like a group of friends who it's like a bank heist, right? Set in <laughs> the Grishaverse. I'm not going to even attempt to describe it actually because. You'll know it better than me and I'll just make, I'll just embarrass myself because as bad as I want to read them, I cannot give you a good synopsis of these books. But yeah, Charlotte, it's just so incredibly kind of you to get me this. I really cannot believe it. I just feel so, so lucky whenever anyone sends me anything. I just can't believe it. So I'm so happy to have this in my collection. And I don't currently own Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising. I'm thinking I might prioritise asking for them for my birthday from my family. Um, because I want to, I don't want to buy any more books after my birthday, but I want to get around to these. So I think I'm going to have to prioritize getting them because these keep calling my name. I keep looking at them and going. <laughs> and lastly, we have a selection of books that were got for me for by my family. These are actually all got for me by my grandparents who watch all my videos. So hi, Anne and Ken. <laughs> I hope you're well. <laughs> Love you lots. <laughs> So the first book they got for me was Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, why? <laughs> now, you already know. Or if you have me on Goodreads, you already know. Five stars. <laughs> this was my first read of 2020. And yo, new favourite. New, new favourite. New favourite. I wish I'd done a reading vlog for this. I was tempted to do like a reading my first book of 2020, but I didn't think anyone would watch it. But I wish I'd vlogged this, cause whoo! <laughs> so tell us about the album. The album's amazing, song to song, I can't stress it enough. She could release every song off here and it could be a single. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So, it's an A+. plus. So this is essentially um, a multimedia, mixed media book. So it's told through ship logs and through um, conversations online and through diaries and through surveillance cameras and through secret documents. That's what our story is told through. And it is one of the most incredible ways to read a story that I have ever consumed. I loved the format of this. I know it's not for everyone. Some people read it and kind of go, but for me, it worked so well. I <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. And it's definitely a new favourite. It's made me feel very, um, is vindicated the right word? You. Are you dumb? I feel correct in my first of the year choices because, again, Secret History was my favourite book of last year and it was the first book I read. And I don't know how stuff is going to top this. This was so good. This was, I keep spitting in my excitement. <laughs> but this was seriously so good. I just don't know how we're gonna move on from here. Okay, I haven't told you what it's about. So it's about a boy and a girl who were dating 
break up and on the same day that they break up their planet is attacked by this kind of evil corporation they have to flee a lot of people die and they are on these separate spaceships they're in the same fleet i think that's the right word they're in the same like uh grouping of ships but they're on separate ships and it's them communicating through this and shit goes wrong now I but I did this with a few people um, very badly because I was ill and so I was not very good at like keeping up to contact with everyone. Do you know what I mean? But um, I don't think this is spoilery, so maybe skip ahead twenty seconds. But if you're like super scared of being spoiled, but this is partly horror. This is partly horror, and we were all saying that none of us knew that going in. But I think people should be aware in case horror isn't something they enjoy. I mean, I really enjoyed the horror aspect and I've said before horror is something I want to get more into this year, but it is a bit shit, shit occurs in space, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Um, but I really loved that aspect of it. I loved the ending and I just loved how the story progressed. It just felt like the stakes kept upping and more and more shit started happening and you were just like, and then next is Haven't You Heard by Marie Leconte. Um, gossip, power and politics. Oh, gossip, power and how politics really work. So no one will care about this, but I love nonfiction. Particularly, I'm a bit of a politics hoe. Uh, UK politics hoe, I'm in the UK. And this is a journalist who I follow on Twitter. And she is so funny. And this book is essentially about all the Westminster gossip. So all the gossip in our UK parliament. So I can't wait to get to this. I love gossip. I love the tea. Then I received Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nyang. Uh, so as some of you may know, Girls of Paper and Fire was one of my favourite books of last year. I adored it so much and I just can't wait to get back with my girls and read this. We follow a girl named Lay who gets uh, forced to be a paper girl. They are girls who are forced to uh, have sex with the king. It's her story of finding love in such a difficult situation and attempting to fight back against those in power and it is just a beautiful book. If you haven't read it yet, please go pick it up because it's a really special story and this is the sequel. I've heard some mixed things about this from people whose opinions I usually agree with and so I am a bit nervous to pick it up but I definitely want to pick it up sooner rather than later because it's one of my most anticipated releases recently and... God, just looking at it makes me excited to read it so that should be a good sign and we just gotta hope it ain't like some other sequels because sometimes sequels can let me down and then the last book I received was Middle Game by Sean and Maguire I had to get this because my queen my idol my, my <laughs> I am being sarcastic but she is incredible Books and Lala Kayla from Books and Lala she loved this and so for ages I've wanted this but I waited till Christmas because it's fairly expensive in the UK it's a fairly expensive book and I just wanted to wait I didn't want to spend my money <laughs> I was like someone else can spend their money <laughs> and get it for me so we follow twins called Roger and Dodger who I think are being raised by a scientist who wants to ascend to godhood I think that's all I really know about it and I think you are supposed to be a bit confused for most of this. I had to pick this up on Rachel Marie's recommendation as well. She loves it. Everyone who reads this seems to love it so I'm so excited to read this and I think I'll be reading it for a video. I think. I think I'm going to save this for a video because if I wasn't saving this for a video I'd read it straight away but I think I am. So woohoo! <laughs> So there we have it, that's all the books I received over Christmas. I feel so, so lucky and I've definitely got a good amount to get through here. I've got a lot of good books to get through and yeah, I just can't wait. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I'm dying. Let me know if there's any of these which you loved and think I should get to super soon. Oh, we've lost it. Oh, we've lost it. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't say like this for long, but let me know if there's any of these that you loved and I'll try to prioritise them and yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you are very well. I hope you enjoyed this little haul and yeah, let me know what books you got down for Christmas because it helped me figure out what I want to ask for for my birthday. <laughs> Like I need more books. But anyway, thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you very very soon with another video. Bye